Well, I reckon it's that time of year again. Time to move the beer fridge indoors because I don't think it's going to be really comfortable and if it is we will only be out there drinking a bit so this is the this is this is actually beer Friday too and it's the 2nd of October 2015 I'm your host Chris Collier as always so we're first we're going to start out with moving the uh, beer fridge so after I get it moved I'll uh, I'll show you where both. it goes hey, ben. you can see the beer fridge no longer there I shoved the little couch here down towards your, uh, your right uh, because sometimes in the fall if the wind is right and it blows in rain and it gets all wet and then the snow will come in maybe. Uh, well, so yeah, I put up the uh, Jägermeister sign and the old Jägermeister box looks pretty good up there next to the orange bush uh, box. <laughs> so uh, I took everything that should go to the garage, to the garage, I took everything else inside. Well, we'll go in now, and, of course, there's a big mess of stuff on our table, big mess of, mess of stuff on that table. But here's the place, the winter place for the beer fridge, right next to the couch. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking maybe that I might put it up on top of this little table here, but I don't know if that table will hold it. It's just one of those little uh, dinner tables. Just so I don't have to crouch down to get beer. But then again, <laughs> and again, I don't really need anything easier uh, for drinking beer. So I might just leave it there. And it's, it's another spaced, it's another flat surface to put junk at. <laughs> yeah, uh, the old weapons of mass destruction just came in. And so that's it. I'll get set up for the beer. There's no like bushcraft stuff today. And uh, once it gets set up, we'll come back to you. Thanks. Hello there. And I'm back. We're inside. There we go. Uh, the fridge is there. It's all right. Uh, I got it to restock it. Oh, and uh, I got to clean up the mess that's on the tables. So can't see the table top. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, the old camel beer is back in the Maritimes. This is uh, alpine beer, and every uh, year about this time for hunting and whatnot, they make uh, camel beer. Or at least they have since I got here, anyway. Whether or not you like alpine, and I don't, I'm kind of iffy, but see, nice camouflage cans. Last year they came out with four different ones, but maybe they're all the same this year. Anyway, I'll restock the fridge with them. Well, not all of them, but half of them. I'll take my hat off. It's kind of a cloudy, miserable day out there, but we're inside, and we'll probably be inside for the rest of the videos, unless it gets seasonably warm. Hope it's light enough. Uh, I'll see you after this. Maybe I'll have to add another lamp over there facing this way. I got the curtains up. I got that light off to help. Anyway, let's get going with the beer. This is Weihen Stefaner, Stefaner, Heffy Weiss Beer Dunkel. So it's a Heffy Wheat Beer. Dunkel, I think, is dark, but it could be something else. The world's oldest brewery, Weihen Stefaner. So it's made in Germany, but it's sold in the States. My aunt, I think, got it down in the States. There you can see it. Ah. Oh. I was going to say. I don't have an opener handy here, but I do. On my little doohickey thing here. It's not a doohickey. There's an actual tool that's made like this, but it's called a doohickey, but this isn't it, but this is close enough. It's made out of titanium, so it hardly weighs anything. You know, gotta, gotta watch out for the old back. <laughs> yeah. Never say that I hurt my back while drinking beer. <laughs> so I got a mug today is well, it's the 125th anniversary of Canada, but it also has Oktoberfest on it. It's for a German uh, beer. And that was given out at the Maritime Club in CFP Gage down in Brunswick. I can't really remember when 125th was. It would probably be 84, maybe 85. 67, maybe 82. Anyway, I got it anyway. I'm not too sure where or how. So, mm, it's got that great 
wheat beer, yeasty smell. You know, it's gonna be good. I should have rinsed out my cup. Oh well. Just to lubricate the sides. <laughs> oh, I better hold her there. I got a couple parcels too, I'll open up the end there if I have time. So, a nice head, a little off color. Not enough ooze. Mm. So let's have a taste. Mm. Holy moly, that's good. As uh, weedy and yeasty as it smelled like, it doesn't translate into the taste. It's a nice, clean finish. With that good, uh, great wheat taste, this is this is really good. Happy Vice Beer Dunkel. According to yeah, yeah. one point. Uh, let's see how many uh, booze is in it. Five point three percent per volume. Excuse me. Made in the Bayers, Stutz, Brau Fry. And Weihen stuff. Friesling, Germany. And my good friend, I shouldn't say good friend, but he's a friend, uh, whose name I can't remember. German guy, RSM, Brecky, Armored. Ugh. And regardless, he knows what he uh, knows who I'm talking about. And he said this was the uh, some of the best stuff there. And uh, by golly, he's right. Wow, that is super, super good. And a five, I give it a five. Some people put uh, a little squirt of lemon in there, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I think that might ruin it. So let's see what we got in this little package. It's from China, so it could be uh, maybe some Peking duck. Oh, tomorrow's my uh, dad's birthday, like I said yesterday. So I'm going in there, and we're going to have supper and laughs and jocularities. I'm going to make uh, just, I got some lamb down in the freezer that I, I just took out. And I bought a duck, a frozen duck. I don't know if it's a high speed duck or a low drag duck. And so we're going to have duck and lamb and sweet potatoes, carrots, onions, uh, zucchini or squash, and beets. Yellow beets. Oh, they're good. They're frozen from last year, if you can believe that. Oh, and I bought a, a cake. I don't know if Dad knows we're all coming or not. Mom does. Anyway, these are uh, paracord bracelet buckles. You can see here, there's a whistle. And a... For a seam rod there to make sparks. And I think that's all that's in there. I ordered these a long, long time ago because I already have some down in the basement. But God only knows. Yeah, they were probably cheap as chips. So what the hell? There's other ones from uh, China too. Holy moly, I could drink a lot of this beer, I tell you. I've always liked whites and beer. I don't know if it comes on tap though. I always seen it in bottles. Hmm. Uh, I still can't remember that German guy's name. Thorson? Thor? Thor. Thorson something? Thorsten! Thorsten! Ha! Ah, do they make uh, wheat beer on tap? Okay. I got one of those uh, Schmeg scarves. 
100% cotton probably, and it's in black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and white. Ha, I'm not colorblind. Maybe you are. That's for winter. What else we got in here? Look. Some rubber worms. <laughs> seed for herb seed. Purslane. Purslane. I don't know if purslane grows wild around here, but I got some seeds for it though. I'm really going to try to make my little garden out back on the back deck uh, all herbs. With a lot of them being uh, uh, annual ones. Not annual ones, perennial ones that grow up every year. There's tarragon out there now. There's some other kind of weed growing. I don't know what the heck it is. So, uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Not that quickly, though. Holy moly, what a mess. What the hell are these things? I think they're more buckles. That's the Stingray Oldies Jukebox Classics. Alright. Oh. So what does this do to you? It's like attaching a strap to another strap, all that mole stuff. Clicks together. So there's a whole bunch of those. Uh, there's one of these. Sometimes these things take uh, <laughs> a month or so, or even longer. That's why I oftentimes seems like I don't know what the hell I ordered. This is a little uh, it's Gerber, and it's a uh, Try to do this without killing myself. Anyway, it's got one of those hooks with the thing for cutting around uh, seat belts or uh, intestine or something like that. That's good. Oh, I got some more seeds here. Blue. Blue what? I think they're blue. Blue what? I ordered some blue roses? No, not roses. Something blue anyway. Tomatoes. Blue tomatoes. Yeah, blue. Like, uh, like royal blue too. What else we got here? I don't know. These are some other kind of seed. Oh, and what do we got here? Oh, some more seeds. Heck. Hey, hurry, quickly, quickly, Chris. You're, you're going over time here. Ah, we can cut out the unimportant part. This here is, I believe, a windscreen for a stove. Like uh, that alcohol stove I made the video for. And indeed, that is what it is. You can uh, set it up. Right in your stove. Oops. That little thingy came out. And to keep the wind from blowing the heat all over the place. Very nice, very nice. And the rest of the clips, there is a clamp. And the only other thing I got in there is this. Jesus. This is all I need is more junk to add to the table here. This is a fishing vest sort of thing. Looks like a little bit small. What I actually thought I'd when I go out in the winter time and wear my smock and stuff like that, I could, I could probably wear this just to give me more pockets, because the smock only has two. Not so much fishing. I have a uh, my life jacket for my kayak and canoe. I actually has a lot of these pockets there, so I wasn't really getting it for that. This kind of looks small, though, but uh, we'll try it on afterwards. Anyway, uh, I know I'm hurrying, but... Uh, Ah, by God, that might be one of the best beers I ever had. And I know I uh, forced her down that quick, but it is that good. It's right up there with Heineken Pilsner and regular beer from southern Germany. Yes, 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 it is that good. Top five. 
no problem. Top five of the best beer I ever had in my life. Now I'm 50 years old and I've been drinking beer since I was 19. 18 and a half, really. Excuse me, it makes me burp. That is that, that, that good. Take a look at that label. If you ever see it, try it. And they make other beer too. And that was good, the beer I had last week or the week before. But this is brilliant. I can't, I can't think of enough adjectives to say it about it. I only wish I had like a dozen of those. A dozen? 120 dozen. <laughs> anyway, that's it. This is kind of a weird, uh, weird uh, beer video. Uh, I'm all kind of hurried and stuff like that. Uh, ben is really nonplussed about the whole thing. So thanks for dropping by. And uh, uh, to Dad, we'll see you tomorrow for your 75th birthday. Start warming up my hand for the 75 plus one smacks on your behind. Actually, I don't want to see anything like that. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. This is Chris. Out!